Hello and welcome back to another episode of Jagged Alliance 3. My name is uh, Saiken, as always, and today we're continuing our Mission Impossible blind playthrough with ultra hard difficulty and everything. Good, we are going back into the jungle. I uh, am seeing that we are slowly but surely making our way to, to get uh, that island captured. I uh, will wait until the Legion squad attacked, uh, but in the meantime, our main team, uh, our new team, is almost done with uh, treating its wounds. So once I'm that totally is done, getting better at this, man. just uh, right now, we could start um, attacking. Uh, that outpost, Camp Du Crocodile. If you need me, I'll be oiling my chest. Force moving these guys over. And we only have the garrison to deal with. Uh, we have five tired mercs. How is that even possible? Nah, we're retreating. I don't want to fight with five tired mercs. Let's see, where's the enemy coming from? Okay, typical start over there. I'm thinking we should run a little side hustle on these dudes. What do you say? Uh, I was never good at hide and seek. Help. Good, let's let us see how good uh, that new gun is. Oh, He already reloaded, so I don't know how much ammunition he actually took. But that indeed is a pretty significant damage uplift. NATO standard, NATO match, where's our good old Warsaw Pact? Okay, so that was 48 bullets. Which means we can't use them in all of the fights, but it is a great weapon. What's up, player? Dog for life. To die in the Legion is to have truly live. Cut that one right in the grill. Watch me pop a cap in this dude. Because listen, I mean, in all fairness, besides the am ammo count, that was. Uh, just incredible. He must uh, kill three opponents with a sniper rifle. Well, that is not a problem. Um, Michael here. Good chance of me um, not missing. That little side hustle was damn smooth. Hello. I have good odds of hitting enemy. Yeah, they couldn't even move out. Heading out. Okay, Hogbite. That was fantastic. The RPK is Ready. a beast. What? Sure. Ready. Scrap that. Even got our ammunition yes. back. Ready. Easy. 
so what else is happening i think this year is happening in three days so we're just running back over and are going to train the mercs further high explosive rating is good because then everybody sees uh, my, uh, sees landmines and can also uh, just disarm traps. Strange just doing one thing. I will give you puzzle to complete during combat. Ready. We have enemy. No problem. Good we Igor moves to here. And we're good. Found us. The foreigners are here. You are the foreigners are here. Okay, well that didn't fully work out. Let's do this. Moves to here. Kills the hyena. Good shot on this mother. It looks like victory will come to us. I can't decide. The the melee build at the beginning was uh, quite poor, but now it's it's just very very strong. Okay, that doesn't work out, Ready but I can well tell you what is can, going to work out. You know, get the thermal scope, because that just goes through the hat. Joy. Good job on puzzle. I think we did our best and through no fault of our own succumbed to the dreary circumstances. At least it was only a side job. I don't even blame myself. I blame overpopulation. Uh, oh, we had a side job. I didn't... No, it's not. Good. Barry got a level up. That is fantastic. First level 8 character, I think. So, what are we going to do with him? Uh, Barry, it's not only really, really nice stats, but look at the other uh, stuff that he has learned over time. The only thing that he could really improve in is marksmanship, but that'll come over time and of course leadership but just look at that i mean even mechanical is good medical he has learned a lot and all of uh, the other stats he's just a really good character so i wonder what we should take should we just take battle focus uh, to gain ap when hit that is one option he is i think wearing heavy armor yes and i would want to continue doing that uh, so naturally i wonder the fast runner thing doesn't really work that well mm. we could do ironclad and move a bit more efficient in heavy armor that's not bad at all we could also take flanker just 
more damage against flanked enemies, which ho happens often. Dead Eye isn't bad for the weapon that he's running. I think we don't need more grit. He this and this here gives him enough grit. Also, I fail to make him Overwatch from time to time. I should do that. So it's either more movement range or the flanker thing. You know, we could do flanker and lightning reactions. Lightning reactions is a trait that I really, really, really admire. It's a good one. Flanker seems almost like a no-brainer in many builds. So maybe the final build would be flanker into lightning reactions for that free a uh, free prone. And then dead eye for that extra uh, crit. Point blank range isn't bad either. But he's seldomly using shotguns nowadays. This team has completely succumbed to the I use a lot of rifles and just kill everything type of playstyle. Which is too good, um, but it also gets old. So having one sniper is good, but I think I've overdone it maybe in this playthrough. So for a future playthrough, a bit more of a balanced team. Flanker, good. Ironclad good, uh, Dead Eye good, I think these are the ones and I'll get Flanker and then we can decide if we get Lightning Reflexes next. And this here is straight up 15% more damage. Oh, and MD also got a level, is now level 8 as well. And we got Shock and Awe. We got the Inspiring Strike. Um, I don't know if that Dire Warning is any good. But we have three more perks uh, to take from here. And I think we've taken all of uh, the good support um, perks in terms of just general damage with his weapon. I could see him go for extra crit chance. Which isn't bad. This here is nice. The um, but the problem is his uh, weapon already does all of that. Character loses benefits, eh. uh, fully zoomed in, has no benefits from cover anyways. Character can only perform basic attacks. That would be relevant if the character actually would survive, but he is so good that he um, just straight out kills everything. So we might want to find a way of getting inspired. Um, sharpshooter would be cool, but we only have uh, three more levels and not four. So is there a way of getting inspired just so that he could uh, shoot twice per turn? Nah, potentially not. I mean, there is one here in point blank rage, but he wouldn't use that. Cause panic uh, with each attack that deals damage. 
That might be good, I don't know. Become inspired after suffering a negative effect. I think we just want to deal more damage, right? So that would be good. And does he benefit from critting? He already has higher damage here. So flank targets, are ta all of the targets uh, he considers to be flanked because he does uh, they don't benefit from cover thanks to his uh, thermal scope. So I think we're just going with flanker um, and then dead eye and then maybe vanguard for some extra grit or... Um, Or lightning reactions. Well, he's already lying on the ground, so it doesn't really matter that much. Maybe we are using Dire Warning then. But I think we're just going to go with uh, Vanguard because that's free grit. So effectively more hit points. How can I assist? It's not technically stealing if no one is around to call it that. Cool. Two level ups. Uh, they are getting a lot of level ups here and are taking the brunt of all of the enemy attacks two days, which means they can continue running an operation here. Second team is just chilling. I wanted to attack. Uh, I think, by the way, first team might want to force move to there. Good. This team is ready. Finally. Second attempt. We are training explosives. And continuing to do so until everybody is a little bit better. Night time and raining. That's an interesting combination. And that is one where I would like to use our night goggles. Well, maybe not on you. But on the rest. Cool. Enemy comes from down here. Yes. Uh, Igor moves here Hello. Barry Eyes Lifewire um, And Where do we put MD? How can I assist? Um, Michael here. Good. Deploy. MD. We have Adam. Quiet. In my sight. Fabulous. So, life bar. It's an easy shot to make from cover. Oh. The visual. Takes out that guy. Alarm, alarm! Good. 
But these are veterans, they are taking a lot more uh, to kill. But that's okay, I mean, they're almost down. See that shot? That was tight! Watch me pop a cap in this dude. Good sniper is down as well. Very under. Enemy has good visibility. I think maybe we'll drunk victory vodka too soon. Yes. Good, Barry Unger goes down. And I think this me, um, not missing. should be it. Cool. Um, Michael here. MD present. Good. We got lots of NATO standard and cash in. Fantastic. They are continuing. They are continuing to learn and defend both of the harbors, whilst our second team is doing the job hey, in the jungle. Neat. I learned something new today. Now to the actual fight, which is the Legion. Fantastic. Let's go. Camp du Crocodile. I guess we're going to fight against a couple of crocodiles. Can deploy. Guards over there. Enemies over there. Bunk bed there. And a diamond shipment. Well, fabulous. What do you want? Let's make this arm more of a challenge. All right, but I don't see how they won't spot my magnificent physique. I think I see something over there. Flay should make a kill and never suffer damage. Well, but I think we can. But we can do. <sighs> Flay. One sneaks out from the enemy like so. Easy shot and an unsuspecting target. Tench. Gotta be quiet. All right, moves to here. Takes shot. Wow, this guy is tough. Okay. You would not scare us. I see someone has been paying attention to my technique. I'll see them before they see me. Good. Moving up all the way to here. Blood carefully makes sure that he's not being spotted out. We got a flashbang, a couple of other things. This had better work. Pierre moves up. Hunkers down. Okay. It's a shame they will not be able to watch me move. Steroid. Get down. Takes cover. Okay. Well, we don't have the optimal situation for kind of an ambusher, uh, shock trooper type of team. I'm not like this fate. It is not something I ever wish to speak. 
Not sure what they are fighting against. Someone just went down. It's a diamond shipment here, but I have no idea. Fight harder. Your major commands you. Oh, this time the major had a face associated to his name. Interesting. Uh, got a view to a kill here. I would need a wet vac to claim that head for a trophy. Good. Look, we're hiding, and we're what next? we're bandaging. Pay close attention to my form. Another headshot. Good. Our snipers are doing well, but I sort of need to go in as well. Larry moves up. was almost how a real man would do it. <laughs> Good for you, little Larry. It's almost how a real man would do it. I like it. The Arnie voice. I wish I could uh, do a better impression of him. Okay, if we are moving all the way up here but are still hidden, I think that's not a bad idea. They won't see me until it's too late. I will fall on them like a tree in the forest! Oh, damn it! I will give my position to them! But a little bit of overwatch is not uh, not a bad idea here. Yeah, that won't hit. And I don't want to go through the water. I don't think there is a lot. Uh, there are not a lot of options to come up. Fine with me. Moves into a hiding here. Can't even hunker down. Well, it is what it is. They seem to be fighting against against something else. Good, we're definitely... Oh wow, another guy goes down. Something is happening in here. They are distracted at the moment. If they win, stay. This will work. This will be so easy. I'm already bored. Wounded, but not dead. Let's try again. Yo, a headless bucket. Good hits with Flay. Cover me. Buns moves up Time to take cover. and takes cover here. Okay, cool. So far, things are working just like they should. This will be pie. Out of uh, out of reach, really. Uh, you can see 26 range. That'll be a difficult shot. 
There's no cover here whatsoever. But that would work. Okay, hit. We should all be flexing our muscles. This one will fall before me. Nice. Severely wounded. I like it. Pierre tries the same. He does not have the same uh, reach, so I'm not even. I'm not even mad about this not working out. It's not his fault. You can see his effective reach is much lower. Uh, did we have any character traits that would be helpful? We have fast runner and we have lightning reflexes. Can't just move in. I admire the efficiency we are displaying. Bien joué, mon ami. Good blood is uh, waiting. Could we hit him? Yes, we can. Flashbangs cost almost nothing to uh, to throw them, which is great. And we do have a little bit of free movement. Okay, I'll definitely use that to our advantage. That was the lightning reflex from, uh, from Larry that we skilled. The team is not bad it's working well <clears throat> all right blood moves up got a wild animal here man oh, NY severely wounded. Well, what, whatever that thing is, uh, it uh, certainly has killed a couple of you guys. Before we're moving further, I mean, we could move all the way up to there. This ball's going down. Ah! About to make mince meat here. Good, that's two silent kills. We're going on the ground. What do you want? Can't see this guy. Time to take cover. We're going to take uh, action units over to next turn. Yeah. 
Steroid moves over. Hunker down so that we can take actions over. It will be done. Good. Reload. Get up. Um yeah. no problemo, man. Larry carefully moves up. That gunner there might become a problem. I go to set up my shot. Flay needs his needs to be a loner just like Larry, then they get inspired, so Oh, this is a very bad place to be. Throws. Oh, it's a bit far off. Blood's gonna draw some blood. Moves up, hunkers down. Good. That's actually what not that? too bad. This is absurd. What? I don't like this. Uh, he has way too much cover here. Good. Problem solved. Okay. Now watch this, man. Cover me. <clears throat> nah, too far. Okay. Got a view to a kill here. But we can nicely hit this guy. My schemes as a huntsman are unmatched. Uh -huh. Good, we're moving up. And we're lying down. Pierre. I will bring the fight to them. Needs to get more agility, and as we're running, that finally happens. And Flay will do his thing. We wanted loners and flankers. That's exactly what he's going to do. Hey man, what's up? Good, free move. Question is, where do we want to move to? Moving into position. This idea stinks worse than spoiled meat. Good, moves to here. About to make mince meat here.
hits the arms, severely wounds him but doesn't kill him. Let's go for a steroid. Hmm. Nah, that's not a good hit. Can we get a uh, line over here? This will be so easy. I'm already bored. I would need a wet vac to claim that edge for a trophy. That was a great shot, Flay. Oh. All right, come on. Good, and finally Pierre. No one will stop me. Moves out. And we'll charge in from the other side next turn. Nope, didn't work. For the one in the middle, right? Come on. Ah, a bit too far away. The anaconda is good, but certainly not a replacement for a sniper. Good first engagement, although it uh, was a bit more difficult than expected. But I'm enjoying the playstyle of those little shock troopers a lot. Let us take what we need. Moving. Still finding that uh, Frey is uh, using his Winchester quite a bit. Oh, balanced knives. Is up, man. I will lead. Oh, wish I had a chopper. Oh, that is good. That's exactly what we needed. Reload. Yes, please. Okay, so how would the modification look like? All of these are chips. Chips won't happen. Moderate accuracy bonus. Subsequent attacks did not need it. By the Overwatch, the thermoscope. Interesting. Good. This here looks good. Attacks are cheaper. Range is considerably shorter. But does he, he even have the perk? Yeah, he does. Shotgun attacks. So he gets a free movement action.
Good for night operations, that is helpful. Additional aim level. Large aim bonus for 3 plus aim. L large crit chance bonus for 3 plus aim. Or more aim. I mean, it won't change much. I think he won't use either. Good. Modified shotgun. Let's try that. Range is hilarious with that. Which means really he's using a second weapon, the fam uh, famas whenever needed. 20 range, 24 range. Okay, we modify with that thing. So that looks good. Bonus. Do we have anything for longer range? Range 20 isn't bad. I believe this here could be a good weapon. But we also need to be mindful not to use all of our parts immediately. So... We got the whole shotgun thing. His MP5 is good. I'm not 100% sold on his on his MP5K. Blood and Pierre are almost uh, the guys that always want to go in. Steroid wants to go in as well. Larry, I like the Anaconda. Very solid um, mid-range weapon. He's a bit shy on other ranged attacks, so I think we need to give him a bit more movement. Pierre generally okay with the heavy armor, but we need to give him that extra heavy armor uh, perk so that he retains free movement. Yeah, but well, that will happen as uh, levels uh, come. Um, How about a little pick me up first. Hey man, what's up? Got some intel. Copy that. Blood here. What is up, man? It will be done. We got this. You guys go ahead. Yeah, blood. Uh, blood has a good. Uh, the shotgun might uh, mean even more damage from close up. I will lead. You guys go ahead. Blood On the other hand, the question is, does he really need that, or are we giving our big brute the shotgun? Never really got to melee damage. The Famous isn't bad, but the shotgun isn't bad either. And it allows for additional repositioning. Five range though is really, really low. So I'm a bit concerned that he has nothing else going for him. Blood here. Come on. Trias passes will be fed Let's to the crocodiles. Okay. We. There's major L E O. What is this? I will lead. Careful here. We've seen a crocodile. I'll catch up. that 
Moving the party. Okay, so let's see. Ammunition, ammunition, nets. Fantastic. Hey, far out, man. And we got another AKSU. I think we could get we could get rid of one. Do they have run gun? Oh yeah, they do. Let's not scrape it yet. Maybe we can give that to uh, to our good friend uh, Blood here. All right, reload. Standard ammunition. Blood's backpack is super overloaded. The flashbangs were good. I actually like them. How can we modify these uh, things? Um, silent attack. I like that. Fits his playstyle well. Chips we're not going to put in. Quick prism scope could help him to shoot and then uh, move. I think this is a good weapon. Increase clip size. Proof reliability isn't bad either. I like that. Uh, moderate attack bonus for subsequent attacks. Good. Um, and I think we're going for the re. How, how much ammo? 30, right? Shots of 4. Might as well. Good. We're almost out of parts, but that's okay. Uh, I wonder. We take a second one of these, potentially not. Um, so that one gets uh, repurposed. And this here is great, but it has a shitty range, which is the, bi uh, the biggest problem. Good, we now have another run and gun. 20 range, this is 16 and 26 range. Um, automatically comes with a free uh, shorter barrel. One of them will need to suck it up and have the bad range. Pierre wants to get into melee, so I think for him... Problem is he's not quick with his heavy armor, right? So maybe we're just switching that because blood indeed is very, very fast. Might as well give him the MP5K. And he always has the endless knife support. And Pierre, with his gun, could just take a shot, thanks to the quick prism, um, and then uh, do run and gun on top of it. Same here for steroid, so both are really 
a bit slower than blood and blood wants to fully go in okay just switching it around so that it's clear blood will be the one that should be wants to go out. in fully what is up man just trying to establish a good a good um, tactic here. I haven't played a lot with SMGs, so a first playthrough is always a good learning uh, experience to just test everything. Unload, reload, and give us 16 parts, thank you. No problem, man. I'll just take this pill and make myself real small. Boy, that's real hard when my hands are shaking. Good explosives. Oh wow, 46 damage is a lot. Penetration super heavy. Just need to place that somewhere and we're good. Got a chance to do this quietly, man. Dead. Let's go. Huh? You got it. Can we stop for snacks on the way? Very interesting go, go, setup go. here. The whole camp with a different uh, with a different house. I must say, the map design of the game is the very very well done. There is something unknowable here. Hey man, what's up? Kevlar helmet, fantastic. Ready for a fight. Order accepted. Blood here. Ready for a fight. <sighs> Okay, I think we got everything. Can we train militia here? Yes, we can. I have to wonder if that is worth our time. But all things considered, potentially yes. So... Um... Couple more hit points would be fine. Steroid trains you guys and you. I hope this task will be a good workout. And Buns starts thank training militia. We can save on resources. You don't have to thank me, but I will allow it. More diamond shipments are coming through. Wait, wait, wait. Another tech squad is on its way all the way to there. How long does it take to move over there? 12 hours, okay. Yet another tech squad goes in the uh, wrong direction, all the way over here. Uh, difficult to say. Are these guys coming before they are approaching?
This here takes a while. But we also only do have five uh, operatives here, yeah. Whilst here we do have a full uh, full set of enemies, uh, full set of defenders. Good. Diamond shipment. Uh, yeah, we need to defend here. Can't uh, can't do that. Contract's almost done. Um. Hello. My contract. Hello. Sorry to say it. Good. Now we can get my contract. Very good. Okay. Well, that takes care of the contracts. Uh, I think I'll just play both of the defenses off uh, screen, and we're going to continue once the militia here has been trained. And then uh, we can start exploring the rest of the region. I just realized that this here effectively is a no-go area. Might want to go all the way around here and then capture the rest. Good. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next episode and goodbye.